Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Amber Pro here, and I would like to announce one of the best plugins that I've made yet. It's an update to the minimap system. So as you can see here, we get an item, which is the map, now it displays. On top of that, you can see that I have brought the beacon system back, and you can see a little sleeping icon, indicating that you can rest there. So when we get the item, you can see that the beacon stops blinking, indicating that we have accomplished whatever it was that we were supposed to do there. But let's say the person playing the game doesn't necessarily like the colors. Well, in the options menu, you're now able to go to the minimap options and completely customize the way it looks, as well as customize the location of the minimap and the name. Don't worry about going off screen, it'll automatically fix itself once it's displayed on the map. But let's say it's not performing too well. The player is now able to change the quality of the rendering. As you can see here, we have low, medium, which draws an outline around things and also displays the icons on the map. And then the high graphic settings, which makes use of regions, and however you set them up to look like. High quality will also display beacons. Now for the tutorial on how to use it. So the note tag list for the maps are MM name, colon, and then the name of the area, which displays the name of the area, MM scale, colon, and then a number. This will determine the scale of the minimap. You're going to need to do this for larger maps, especially, because they're going to take up the whole screen if not. For large maps, I recommend using about 0.7 for scale. Just keep playing around with it until you think it's right. MM region number color, where number is the number of the region ID. Now what I recommend for this is to give it either black or white with a small alpha. You can do that by typing RGBA and then in between parentheses to make it black, you would just do 0, 0, 0, and then I recommend something very light like 0 0.25 for the alpha. Increase the alpha number if you want it to be a little bit darker. And for white, just put 255 instead of zeros. But keep the alpha channel at least 0 0.25 or something around that. Doing it this way allows the color change to still take effect. So if the if the player decides that he wants to change the little uh, the minimap's color, he can do so without having to worry about the color of the region overpowering all well, his settings. MM rec item and then the number of the item. This will draw the minimap only if you're carrying at least one of the item that you put. So for example, uh, by default, one would be a potion. MM force on, this automatically forces the minimap on regardless if you have an item or not. So if you want your minimap to display without having to worry about the player um, having to collect an item, like say for towns or something, then you can do MM force on. Now as for the events, MM display, this is required. MM color, and then a color, such as RGB or RGBA, like we did before. This will determine what color that event is drawn on the little minimap. Keep playing around with it until it looks right. MM switch, this will make it so that the event will stop drawing on the minimap once the set switch has been turned on. MM icon, that will display an icon that'll be downscaled to 16 by 16. So if you're planning on making specific icons for this, Make sure you add it to your icon set and make the actual icon 16 by 16 and then scale it up to 48 by 48. MM Beacon, true or false, this will determine whether or not the event being drawn is a beacon. Now what that means is that little blinking thing indicating that you need to be there. MM Color is also required. If you don't want it to have any sort of color but you just want to draw an icon for some reason, then just do RGBA 0000 and that'll completely make the drawing transparent. The beacon automatically gets its color based on whatever MM color that you set. Now as for the plugin commands. If for some reason you want to open these settings via a event by, I don't know, making a tutorial or something on how to do whatever, then you can use the plugin command MM settings. To force create the map, like say for example you open a chest that contained the map item, you can use the plugin command MM force create. And that's it for the tutorial. See you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.